Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon, YouTube. It's pissing rain here, but it was a great weekend. Irish beat the England in Six Nations Cup. We had a nice St. Patrick's Day weekend. Ginger Lady went to, to a little day trip with her dad. Without any delay, let, let me show you first the Ginger Lady's reactions to the English game yesterday. She went through all the steps of emotions from being curled up on the bed, almost crying, to jumping and screaming and being as proud as she ever was in her life. <laughs> that was something, huh? Okay, let's talk about St. Patrick now and because I think there's some things that most of you probably don't know. Starting with the fact that he's not Irish. <laughs> he was born in Britain and kidnapped by a band of Irish pirates when he was about 16 years old. He after that escaped the, his captivity went back to, to England. Or, yeah, I think it was England actually, but yeah, and uh, later in his life he decided to return back to Ireland as a missionary. Catholicism, Christ Christianity and all, all that. St. Patrick wasn't Irish. And to continue on that, uh, the green color usually associated associ with St. Patrick's Day and St. Patrick's is not actually what, what you think it is, because St. Patrick actually wore blue. And there's actually a color called St. Patrick's blue. Comment section if you didn't know, knew, didn't know. I'm sorry if I'm blabbering a bit, I'm just, I should actually relax. Yeah, I'm a bit nervous because of the rain. One of the most famous stories about St. Patrick is, is that he banished uh, snakes from Ireland, which is, uh, of course, a complete and utter bullshit because it, it has been proven many, many times that there never was any snakes in Ireland to begin, begin with, as it usually is with religious religions, I would say, in general. You can always back up your story and say it was a metaphor. He didn't really de demolish, not demolish, you know, ba banish snakes, but it was a metaphor for him driving out the pagans from, from the island, which, yeah, if you choose to believe that stuff, I mean, to each their own, I guess. Fact I'm gonna tell you next might actually shock you. There was a time when pubs were closed for St. Patrick's Day and it was made that way by the same guy who introduced the Bank Holiday Act. It wasn't until 1930s or 70s, so fuck me, I forgot. Seven, I think it's 1970s when that was all changed and it became what we know today as a, one of the biggest drinker, drinking parties in the world. But yeah, could you imagine St. Patrick's Day with pubs being closed? comment section tell me what would you actually do if that was the case if you like this you might like other videos we make we make one or two videos per week depending on how much time we have if you want more content it is available on our patreon page where we post our short videos and stuff like that all of the videos you saw from ginger lady reacting to the game <laughs> all of them will be exactly there so link is in the in the description and yeah if you like this please consider subscribing because it would mean a lot to us on to the next one the first sun patrick's day parade did not happen in Ireland. In fact, the first parade in Ireland happened a good two or three hundred years after the first parade, which was in New York City. And it was organized by Irish soldiers serving in Britain army that were stationed there back at the time. Now, I probably should, should mention there's few times in the US they claim they had the first, first St. Patrick's Day parade, and one of them is Boston, which is the most significant one in my opinion. But yeah, and the first parade in Ireland didn't happen until 20th century, which is yeah, more than 200 years later in uh, what? Oh, fuck me. Waterford or we? I'm, I'm probably wrong about that, but it's in Irish time that, that starts with W. That is all I wanted to say about St. Patrick. We are switching now to day trips that Ginger Lady had with her dad. She filmed a lot and take a look.
trying to read a sign out half it missing so I wish you the best of luck with it. <laughs> yeah it's fine you can go down with that. You know. <laughs> Dad is I'm not too keen on the offloading no, device. Because it's plenty of the nice banging off things ain't getting dizzy and going to collapse. <laughs> We're getting dizzy here I'm now the sun's blinding us. Okay go around again a little bit more this way. This We're tired. <laughs> I don't mind that. You can see the bottom of the water. I think it's up to your knees. Just to let you know, guys, we can both swim. We're swimmers, but Dad is a bit nervous of water. Yeah. And I suppose I am too. I'd be nervous even though I, I can swim. I won't leave, I won't leave another bit. <laughs> You're... I'm a bad swimmer. I'm a bad swimmer. We're in Clifton at the moment and it's absolutely beautiful here. I'll give you a 14 little... 14 degrees. 14 degrees. It is 14. It's very warm. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Before, before this thing collapses, this thing's moving a lot, Lorraine. I don't it trust it. Well, it's it, it doesn't look too much. Well, it is a floating device. Well, you know you're back in Chifton now. <laughs> <laughs> we had a good all day today now, and but uh, we just wanted to bring you on our little adventure with us. And uh, I'm blabbing on here now because this, this fella's making me nervous. <laughs> I don't think he realises he's going to be on YouTube. He's uh, talking. Uh, where did they bring all the drugs, Dad? Columbia. Columbia. <laughs> Yeah, they're going to be talking here in Clifton. Thank you so much for checking in on our little vlog today. Um, we went to Ballinahinch Castle and we went to Roundstone and we're here in Clifton standing on the float. Um, I made Dad bring me down here because when me, my sister and my brother were tadpoles when we were Schmallens, we stayed in a house just down the road there. It belonged to my dad's brother. Glory. <laughs> <laughs> it was nice to, you know, come back and see what it was like. <laughs> so we're going to wrap it up, guys. Uh, I hope you like that. Just some really beautiful, beautiful, <laughs> beautiful scenery. If you like this video, press the like button. If you didn't, press the dislike button. If you loved it, press the subscribe button. Check our Patreon, and we'll see you in the next one.